Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Straight Out of Austin here, and today I'm back for episode number 51 of my Jim Lowry Road to the Show series here on MLB The Show 16. So we're getting into the playoffs for the year 2020, and you can see we're taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers in the NLDS. We've got a good five-game series ahead of us here, so you can see the Dodgers' path of uh, how they made it here. They defeated the Diamondbacks in a game of 163, thanks to a two-run 14th inning, as they earned the extra inning victory. And then in the wild card game, they defeated the Cubs 5-3, thanks to uh, some later runs as well. So this team has played some pretty gritty baseball, so to say, up to this point, and it's going to be Jim Lowry versus Mike Leak, who uh, never ended up in the, on the Cardinals in this Road to the Show, of course. If you guys remember, this Road to the Show series was created in last year's game, so Mike Leak uh, obviously was on the Reds when this started, uh, before he was traded to the San Francisco Giants. But anyway, it's besides the point, so he is the starting pitcher for the Dodgers tonight. It's Hector Oliveira trying to lead things off, but he strikes out there. So that is going to be the first strikeout of the evening here for Larry. He's going to pick up a second on A.J. Pollock in the top of the second inning here. And uh, I just do want to apologize again for uh, the lack of content on my channel uh, the last really few weeks, I would say now. I've just been extremely, extremely busy with this internship that I'm working this summer. And uh, we'll be over in a couple weeks, and I'll probably look to be a bit more active moving forward. Um, but, you know, I think trying to get uh, up, you know, three to four videos a week is a good goal for me. And uh, I do want to kind of, you know, focus on baseball for now just because it is kind of baseball season it is the summer um, for my NBA fans I am gonna have an NBA offseason talk video coming out soon um, I'm not sure if and when I'm gonna be getting back to the Thunder My League series um, you know for now I do want to put out a video kind of giving my thoughts on the or general thoughts in the NBA offseason because I know I haven't really um, talked about it in any videos I do talk about um, you know real sport real life sports on my Twitter of course you can follow me at out of Boston the link is always in the description but um, you know sometimes it is easier for people to uh, hear my voice and my opinion if I put it in a video so I think I might do that for uh, the NBA here probably gonna try and get that up this weekend but like I said really no guarantees this week especially is really really busy for me hopefully next week I'll, I'll be able to like I said try to get back to putting up somewhere in, like three to four videos a week but anyway working uh, into the sixth inning now we've got two on and two out for Yasmani Grandal he hits one to deep left center field and that is tracked down by the left fielder so that will retire the side. We escape the jam there. Now on to the seventh inning. Only at 78 pitches. The 1-2 count. That's a fastball in there for strike three at 99 miles an hour. So another strikeout for Big Jim. Now it is uh, the two out in the inning. And that's going to be another strikeout. That is Josh Rutledge going down. So two strikeouts that inning for Big Jim. Now on to the eighth inning. Two down for Chris Taylor. The 90th pitch of the evening for Lowry is going to be granted to the shortstop. Stabbed in the hole, throw onto first in time. And Lowry's through eight innings, just one earned run allowed so far. He would be a pinch hit for in the bottom half. And we would go on to win by a final score of 2-1. to one, The bullpen gets the job done as we earn the late inning victory. We win game two. And we are going to win game three on the road there in Los Angeles. A little Monday afternoon baseball there. So we earn the sweep. And we are moving on to face the Washington Nationals in the NLCS. You can take a look at their roster. Pretty good roster, obviously led by the likes of Steven Strasburg and Bryce Harper. So we're going to be getting the ball in game one. Once again, the Nationals 88 wins on the regular season. Of course, we bettered them by 14 wins, winning 102 in, uh, out of 162, of course. But here we go now, getting things started in game number one. Already one down in the inning, and that's going to be poked towards the right field. This ball carrying. It's got a chance, and it is going to be off the wall. Misplayed by the right fielder, so the runner is on his horse heading for third. He's going to get in there easily with a one-out triple now. A good run-scoring opportunity for Bryce Harper, and he's going to crush one. Deep right field. This ball is gone. A two-run home run for Bryce Harper, and he gets the Nationals on the board first here in game number one as Washington goes on top. Two to nothing thanks to Bryce Harper's two-run bomb. Now how will Lowry respond? Anthony Rendon is the next hitter, and he is going to get hit on the shoulder there. Now I will say that was not intentional. That was not a message I was trying to send by any means. Just trying to run that fastball in and to get Rendon off the plate a little bit. And I just kind of lost control of that one. So luckily the next batter is going to ground into the 6-4-3 double play. And Lowry is out of the inning. So he will walk off the field with a two-run deficit now back on the mound in the second inning here. And already just at nine pitches. Lowry working efficiently so far, but he gives up another shot to deep left. And that one is gone. The second home run of the evening for the Nationals. This one off the bat of Alex Stroud, and he gives the Nationals a 3 to nothing lead. Now it is Trent Turner. No, this is not Trent Turner. Excuse me. It is someone else up later in the inning, but uh, that is a diving stop by Colton Wong. So we're on to the bottom half of the second year. There's a man on first. I'm up with one man out, and Larry's going to lay down the sacrifice bunt, and the first baseman Montero misplays it completely. Everybody's going to be safe. 
and what was an attempted sacrifice turns into a bunt hit there for Jim Lowry. And you can see we would tie the game up at three, so the offense picking up Big Jim now as he picks up another strikeout there. On to the third inning now, a similar situation. Again, laying the bunt down the first baseline, and again, Montero, not sure what he's doing there, and Lowry is two for two. You do not see that every day. In fact, you rarely see that. Lowry did have a pretty good September at the plate he was hitting 024 as of uh, the middle of august and he finished around 099 so a pretty nice improvement colton long makes another nice play there and now in the fifth inning we've got a 6-3 lead there's another strikeout for big jim so he's starting to settle in a little bit of course keeping the ball in the ballpark is always essential but uh, after that bad start he is looking to rebound but this ball is hit to deep left and that ball is gone for the third time tonight a Washington National has taken Jim Lowry deep, and it's a one-run game once again. Now Rendon up later in the inning. He goes down. That's the second out, as there's still a man on. Though we're going to skip ahead to the sixth now. It's Stroud at the dish. He's already taken Jim deep once tonight. He's going to ground this one, but he goes off the glove of Lowry. He recovers in time. Throw onto belt at first, and that would be the second out. So now we're going to skip ahead to the seventh inning here with one man down. It's a 9-5 to five game now, so the St. Louis offense certainly showing up. And kind of picking up the slack, Lowry, not his best stuff tonight, but he does settle in, and it gives them seven strong innings. He would finish with the five run runs allowed, but he exits with the lead and puts the Cardinals in position to go on and win, and they do adjust that by the final score of 9-5. to five. Lowry's final line there, 10 hits, five earned runs, only four strikeouts, but no walks. So you can see we take the first three games of the series here against Washington. We do lose in game four. And we're not scheduled to go in Game 5. St. Louis deciding to go with the five-man rotation, surprisingly, in this NLCS. And it does pay off as Lowry does not have to pitch in Game 5. We do get the victory. So we're going to be taking on either the Indians or the Red Sox in the World Series. And the uh, Red Sox end up pulling off the comeback there. They had been down in the series 2-1, to one, but they won the next three and defeated the Indians in six games. So they move on to the 2020 World Series, take a look at their roster. And this, this honestly might be the worst uh, roster we've played so far. They did win 88 games on the year. Of course, it took a game 163, though, to win that division. They defeated the Yankees in that game 163. And then, uh, of course, have advanced all the way to the World Series. So have certainly gotten hot here in the postseason. But we'll see how they fare here tonight against one of the game's best pitchers in Jim Lowry getting the ball for the third straight game one here. So we will see how it goes as both teams lining up on the field. Pre-game introductions are underway, and we are close to first pitch here as the Cardinals and Red Sox get ready to battle in the World Series. Once again, this would be the fifth time ever in uh, the uh, two franchises' history, of course. 46, 67, 04, 13, and now 2020. And you can see Larry getting out of the first inning there with a double play. Now, no strikeouts on the board for Jim so far, but the Cardinals do have a one nothing lead, though. Bradley taking this one to deep right center field, out by the bullpen, and gone! A solo home run for Jackie Bradley Jr. And the home run issues continue for Lowry as he serves up a solo shot. And Bradley ties up the game at one as the Red Sox now right back in it. It's Swihart at the dish with a man on. That pitch gets away from the catcher. So the man will advance the second out with two downs. Swihart the 2-1 count. Pokes this one the other way into left center field. And that is going to get home the runner as Swihart will stop at first. But it's an RBI single. And the Red Sox take a 2-1 lead. Now here is Travis Shaw up in the fourth inning behind the count 0-2, and he is just browsing at that high fastball. Lowry finally gets his first strike out of the evening. Now it's Rusny Castillo up. He is the uh, next batter. Full count. He goes down to the high fastball. Lowry again hitting triple digits there. 100 on the radar gun. And now with two down in the inning, the 0-1 count. That ball is poked into deep right field. This ball twisting, and it's gone. And not going to lie, that was a classic Fenway cheapy right there. You're going to see the hitter actually had to kind of twist his hands in. I mean, look at that. How do you make – I mean, I'll credit him. He did hit the ball 328 feet. Uh, with that kind of swing, that's pretty impressive. But that is not a home run at too many ballparks. Uh, that one just wrapped around the foul pole there. Good for a solo shot, though. So it's a 3-3 three three ball game. Now Bogart's up with two down in the fifth. He's going to ground this one back in front of the hill here. Lowry off the hill makes the play. Throw to first in time. So he is through five now onto the six. That's Pablo Sandoval up. He's got two strikes on him, and he's going to poke one to deep left field, and this ball is gone over the green monster, and the Red Sox take the lead. So Lowry once again not too sharp, and once again hand, or serving up the home run ball, and it has cost him so far as the Red Sox do have the lead here. Now this one's lined in the left. That's going to get down for a base hit. That'll put two on with two out here in the sixth, and this ball's going to get away from the third baseman, but good backup by our catcher. And that is going to do it for Big Jim. The manager is going to come out and officially give him the hook. So Lowry's night is done. The book is not closed, though. He will rely on Marcus Hadley to get out of the jam, and uh, he would not be tagged with any more earned runs. Five and two-thirds, seven hits, four earned. And you can see he gets tagged with a no decision. So we win in game two. 
to even up the series, lose game three, but win in game four. So Big Jim's going to be back on the mound here in game number five, and you guys will see that one in the next episode. So I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Thanks for watching, and I'm out. Peace.